In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to magnify your screenshots and pages and at the same time have the stroke around it inside Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. So we already have your screenshot on your timeline. Make a duplicate of it, press option and drag upwards. Now let's rename the two images on our timeline. The top one, let's rename it top image and the down one, let's rename it down image. Now disable the down image by pressing V. Then click on the top image, go to your right side, click on the crop icon or you can also access it right on this side. When you click on this, you can select crop here. Now we're going to use the on screen control to crop out the parts that we don't want. I just want to magnify this part on my page. Click on done. Still on the top image. Click on the transform icon. Then go to where you want the magnify effect to start from. Make a keyframe on scale all and position. Now go 10 frames forward. Make another keyframe on scale all and position. And for us to see what we are doing with, let's click on the down image. Press V to enable it so we can see the effect. Then click on the top image. Go to the last keyframe that you made. Increase the scale all. Thanks so much like this will be okay with the transform icon selected we can use the on-screen control so we just move it somewhere on top of it now this part is really important May I have your attention, when you look on the on-screen with the arrow and the line the red line it shows the animation that's taking place so it starts from here and ends here when you right click that you can see it change to smooth the keyframe animation on position goes for both smooth and linear but with the scale all it only goes with the linear so with this it's conflicting with the so you need to change it when you leave it on smooth it gives this weird look but when you change it to linear it gives you that magnify effect that we want so change that and go to the ending part right click on that and change that to, to linear and that's the animation in now we need to do the animation out for this effect to work nicely with this you go to where you want the effect to end make a keyframe on scale all and position then go 10 frames forward make a keyframe again under position and scale all and now with the last keyframe that we made change the figures to 100 and change this side to zero and the x axis to zero so it will go back to the normal size and once again we need to change the movement to linear so you right click on the beginning part change it to linear and change this side to linear too this next part is an extra if you just want to add some cool effect to it click on the top image press ctrl v to see the video animation go to the very keyframe that you made press m so we can leave a marker there we just want to know exactly where the keyframe starts from so go to the second one press m to drop a marker go to the third one m to drop a marker and go to the fourth one m to drop a marker now close the video animation click on the down video then go to the first marker that you drop go to the video inspector side select color wheels make a keyframe on color wheels then go to the second marker still with the down image selected drop down the exposure and also you can drop down the saturation too we just want the magnify effect to pop very well now go to the third marker make a keyframe on color wheels then go to the last marker make a keyframe on color wheels and this time around we just click this one to take everything back to normal so now we have something like this it comes in and it goes back and now how to get a stroke around it for this to work smoothly without doing much work with it make sure your screenshots are always in 1920 by 1080 image size but if you don't have that image size then you have to do it manually like how we did earlier on with the top image now let me show you if you have 1920 by 1080 image size go to the left side of the software click on titles and generators sidebar select solid choose custom and drag in between the two images make it the same length with it option brackets to cut it go to your right side of the software with the generator inspector let's change the color to somewhere red close this click on the top image command c to copy then click on the solid shift command v to bring the paste attribute out and we just want to paste the transform and the crop make sure you select maintain to keep the keyframes exactly at the same place click on paste and now we can see it because it's the same size with the top image with the custom solid selected go to your right side click on the video inspector this is our first keyframe so use this arrow to go to the second keyframe and remember we copied the keyframes from the top image so it has the same length with the top image with the second keyframe selected increase the scale or oh, for now it looks something like this don't worry we'll work around it then with the transform icon selected go to your on screen and place it nicely around it now as you can see the top and the bottom looks very thin so we can work around that by using the y axis so increase the scale y and with that it's just going to affect the top and the 
bottom that's the y axis and move it nicely around that click on that so now we're done with the animation in we need to do the animation out for also the solid custom still on the custom solid with the second keyframe make sure you copy the parameters figures on your right side hold up just found out whilst editing this video that you can easily copy only keyframes from one clip to the other <sighs> without doing the long way this is how you do it still on the custom solids press ctrl v to bring the video animation out click on the second keyframes shift option c to copy the keyframe go to the third keyframe delete the third one that we have already there then shift option v to paste the keyframes there and right here you can see we were able to paste the one on second keyframe exactly with the same parameters to the third keyframe now that you know how to magnify your pages and have a stroke around it this very video is going to show you guys how to get a free auto caption in final cut pro catch you guys on the next one peace